Greetings, salutations. Well, it's been a while, so I will get to the new mobile G3 uh, cell phone full review. When I say full review, I'm just going to give you what my my findings on the whole thing. As you remember, this was an unlocked dual SIM, uh, 64 gigs for memory, 4 gigs of RAM. Um, Android phone that I bought about three weeks ago coming up on about a month um, and you can buy this brand new for 200 bucks from the company um, and it's a good solution because you get pretty good specs um, and it is gorgeous I don't know if you remember from my first thing but as you can see I mean that that glass back in the blue is just I mean it's a, it's a phenomenal looking phone and it is it's a beautiful phone and it works really good. Um, let me get to the pros and cons real quick. The cons would be it does lag a tiny bit. Not bad, but sometimes when you close an app or you or or you might swipe or something, you you there's a slight hesitation. The average user probably isn't even going to notice it. I just happen to because I'm used to running flagship phones and I deal with a lot of cell phones, so I I'm looking for those problems but um, this one had just a hint of it but not bad not by any stretch of imagination I can tell you the camera works great video and photos outdoor and outdoor light it takes pictures like a um, top-of-the-line phone would uh, low lighting issues inside at night and stuff not the good not the best but then you gotta remember this is a $200 phone not a $900 phone and there are some compromises and one of them is the cameras low lighting abilities but the average person taking photographs and doing videos and stuff you're, you're, you're probably never even gonna see the difference and the video quality comes out very good the the photos are very good um, they're not as good as a flagship but for $200 I mean I I, there are $400 phones who don't have a camera as good as this. So for the $200 price, this is a phenomenally good camera. It's running uh, Android 7.1, I think it is. Um, and it's running it very fine. Like I said, a slight lag once in a while, but nothing major. The, uh, the camera works really good on it. Um, it's got a Type-C um, USB connection, which is good, but the problem is it doesn't have a headphone jack, so you got to use the dongle on, and plug it in there to get the headphones. I'm not a big fan of that because you got to remember to bring the dongle with you, or you can't plug your headphones in. Now, if you're like me and you got Bluetooth speakers and Bluetooth headphones, is it a big deal? It depends on you. I happen to still like listening to plugged-in headphones. Um, Bluetooth headphones are great, but they're not always the best quality. I think a plugged-in headphone, especially quality plugged-in headphones. Are the only way to go so if you're if you're really into listening to music or like to have headphones on for watching videos or whatever remember that doggo you got to have that with you um that works fine when you got it you plug it in it's not a big deal i mean everything works good the the audio quality is very good the speaker itself built into the, so, the cell phone is pretty loud um i'm not i was kind of impressed especially on a once again a 200 dollars phone i mean we're talking the sounds of a four to five hundred dollar phone and there are some flagship phones who don't have very good speakers seems to be the one area a lot of phones kind of fall down on um, but this one had a very good speaker the display while it's not like an AMOLED display like on a Samsung it is a beautiful display the colors on it are phenomenal Let's see if I can boot this one up here and we'll see if I can show it to you um it's got a really really nice display on it the colors are very vivid vivid very very crisp very nice so you won't have a problem watching videos or or you know reading or whatever you want to do on the phone it'll work great um one of the other cons about it was is my original unit that i got and this is not my original unit the original unit i got did not want to connect to a bluetooth speaker now i've had the speaker connected to or five different phones from the cheapies right up to the most expensive and it did not want to connect I, I'm not quite sure what the problem was and then I had a small glitch in mine where it, it would Google Play Store would stop working and it would say it on the screen and if you hit OK it would go off and it would come right back and it would do that and you had to reboot the phone to get it to stop and I, I couldn't figure out what the problem was with it so I got in contact with the with the, the company and I said listen I'm having some issues with the Bluetooth and I get this problem booting up that Google store and then it said um, was it the next thing was Google Chrome 
If it didn't do that, it was Google Chrome, and they would just keep popping up, and you couldn't do anything on the phone. You, you literally couldn't do anything. You had to turn the phone off and reboot it, and uh, it would go fine, and then a day or two would go by, and all of a sudden you get that glitch again. It was real strange. So I called up New Mobile, and I said, hey, you know, I just bought this phone. I got some, and then they were like, well, we haven't had any complaints or anything like that. And I was like, well, I don't know what the deal is. And they said, well, we'll send you out a replacement phone. I mean, you just bought it, so obviously there's something wrong with that particular phone. I mean, it happens. I just happened to have got one of the ones that had a glitch in it. And it's probably just a simple software thing that they can just reboot it back up and get it working, and it'll be fine. Um, you know, it's not, it's not a huge deal. But a uh, nod to, to New Mobile for being smart enough to actually um you know give a customer um a new phone because he just bought it right by the way those now that it's booted up and of course my my camera here is kind of washed out a little bit but it's very vivid in in person it's not this white it's quite beautiful but um anyway i uh i got a hold of them and they said uh not a problem we'll send you out a new phone so they sent me a new phone and that's this phone right here and I used this phone for a week, no problem at all. Connected to the Bluetooth, never had any glitches, works perfect. Actually, I think it might even be a little bit smoother than the original one. So I probably got one that had a bit of a, a hiccup. But, you know, for a $200 phone, it was still working good. It's just those things coming up were kind of a pain. And like I said, great thing is, called New Mobile Up, boom. They sent me out a replacement phone. Like, I think I got a hold of them in the evening. So the next day I had to talk to... Um, uh, a service guy and he was very surprised to hear about it very apologetic I said not a problem we'll send you out a phone and I think I had a replacement phone three days later so and it never I mean you know and when I returned the phone on and back off it worked fine so the other phone was good but this phone the one I got as a replacement has been beautiful no problems at all so uh, kudos to new mobile for handling that the phone works great it, uh, it connects to everything it runs everything that I wanted to do it is just uh, it's a brilliant phone so if you're looking to buy a good cell phone, but you can't spend $900, either you don't have the money or you don't want to, uh, on some top flagship, but you don't want to buy like a, you know, a $100 phone where it's not even the latest version of Android, the camera in it is barely any good in daylight, let alone in the dark, uh, it's slow, it's laggy, and it, you know, it isn't very good, spend the extra 100 bucks, $200, and get yourself this phone. It's well worth it. This is easily a $300 phone easily if not a little bit more I mean you're getting a lot of good features for it and like I said the, the customer service is great the display is great the um, camera is really pretty good um, it's just a great great phone and of course it is a phenomenally good looking phone. it's better looking than the Samsung if you had an S8 or an S9 it looks very similar to those but the the shiny blue back on this thing is just it is phenomenal it really is a gorgeous phone. Um, so if you're in the market for a phone like this, I highly recommend it. You've got good serv customer service. You're going to have a great camera, great display. Um, it's going to do everything you need it to do um, and more. I mean, it is a good all-around phone. Like I said, it is easily a $300 phone, if not a little bit more. But for the price for 200 bucks, I think delivered to your house is $215 from the company. So you can't go wrong. <laughs> you just can't go wrong for that price. With that said, though, I am not running this phone right now. You might be asking why. Well, uh, I've come across some low-budget phones that I want to test out, and, and <laughs> I don't need to have seven cell phones laying around. That's just I don't. I don't. First, I don't want to tie the money up. Second, I don't need those. And when I get a phone, I use it as my daily driver, which means I use it all day for a week or two to, to test it out. And this phone works great, but I got other phones that I want to test out that are cheaper than these, but are not going to be nearly as good as these. The, the, for $200, this is a phenomenal phone. The ones I'm buying up are the cheaper phones, because I've had a couple people suggest that they wanted a phone that was just basically a cell phone. They didn't want a smartphone. A couple of them wanted a big button type phone. Um, so there's been some requests for some different style phones, and I've kind of come across some that are really, I think, worth looking into. So with that said, this phone, which... I have run for a week and it's fine. It's been going to be rebooted back to factory specs. I'm going to box it up. And if you're interested in this phone, if you want to save a few pennies instead of going out and buying a brand new one for $215, send me a 
comment down below or get a hold of me through YouTube and um, I'll send it to you. I will definitely give you a good deal on it. Um, like I said, it's only a week old. It works fine. It'll be factory reset when you get it. It'll come with everything that came with it. You'll have the dongle, the um, protective case that came with it, all the paperwork, the box, uh, everything that came, the power brick, everything, everything brand new in this box um, because I, I didn't even use the stuff in this one because I was using the stuff out of the other one so um, I've sent that phone back and I've got this one and it works great I kept the the older one while I was working on this one just to make sure and this thing works phenomenal. so if you're interested and you want to save yourself a few dollars and you want to pick up this phone tell me a link down below or contact me and I will make you a deal and I'll send it out to you I mean I don't mind you know passing this on to one of my subscribers who needs a phone or wants to try it out and I'll give you a good deal on it you know I mean I'm not gonna give it away but um, I'll, I'll make you a good deal on it. so if you're interested let me know alright thanks for watching I'll catch you beautiful people in the next video